News 46 is brought to you by Inspiration Senior Living, where we provide affordable elegance to Pahrump area seniors. Give us a call at 751-2300 and make an appointment to tour our community. News is also brought to you by Smitty's Cards and Coins. Would you like to know what your collectibles are worth? Come by 2281 Postal Road, Unit 4, across from the post office. News is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. Tonight on News 46, a man is found dead on a residential street. Two suspects involved in a shooting are seen in court. And line dance lessons began at Fitness for 10 and the Moose Lodge. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell. And Unet Gentry. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening. It's Tuesday, January 19th, 2016. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. And I'm Jeanette Gentry for News 46. Residents in the neighborhood off Elderberry Street were shocked to find a man lying in a pool of blood next to the roadway this morning. Nye County Sheriff's deputies and Pahrump Valley Farm Rescue all responded to the intersection of Elderberry and Ophir Street this morning around 10 a.m. for what was a man lying on the side of the intersection with what appeared to be a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. The weapon was found in close proximity to the victim. The man was lying in a pool of blood. He was pronounced dead on scene. Nye County Sheriff's deputies blocked traffic in all directions while the investigation was being conducted. They also went door to door to ask questions if anybody had seen or heard anything. Right now there is an investigator assigned to the case to ascertain if this in fact was a suicide. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. The local attorney arrested on a bench warrant after failing to appear in court for alleged animal control violations was seen by a judge this morning after spending the last few days behind bars. Nancy Lord appeared in court today to make her first court appearance since her arrest for animal abuse and neglect allegations. This morning, Lord was finally granted bail after being detained in the Nye County Detention Center for the past five days on a no bail warrant. Her bail was set at $50,000. That amount is significant because it represents $1,000 for each count Lord is charged with. The prosecution exclaimed in court this morning, that Lord has upwards of 40 dogs on her property that are a public nuisance. Lord's neighbors have even discussed their grievances with News 46 about her alleged animal control issues, saying the canines on Lord's property tear up trash, terrorize other neighboring pets, and could potentially attack someone if they keep going over and under a fence that borders neighboring properties. Prior to Lord's absence in court on Thursday, which led to her arrest that afternoon at her home on Peckstein Street, the defendant has also been a no-show at other court proceedings and has gotten numerous continuances regarding this case, which, according to the prosecution, formally began back in September 2014. We're more than ready to go to bench trial. We have been for two previous occasions in this case where Ms. Lord has managed to avoid uh, seeing this go to trial. So if there's a reasonable negotiation that can be reached, that's something that I'll look at. Mr. Gibson announced that uh, apparently they do want to possibly negotiate the case. And I'll sit down, I'll have that conversation with him. But uh, this is, even though it's animal counts, it's a very serious case because there are 50 counts on this. And yes, it's an older case um, and there are, she has a number of, uh, allegedly has a number of dogs that have uh, gotten loose and um, over the course of months, um, every time there's a, a complaint uh, by a, a citizen, then that complaint is added to the complaint before the court. 
Vance Payne with Nye County Emergency Services confirms that the original 18 dogs taken from Lord's property are still in possession of animal control, but none of the dogs that were at Lord's home last Thursday were removed. She reportedly does not want any of her dogs put up for adoption. Nancy Lord's next court appearance is scheduled for February 16th. This is Unet Gentry reporting for News 46. Donald McFadden has once again been taken into custody after being wanted by the Nye County Sheriff's Office for some time. Donald McFadden appeared before Judge Kent Jasperson today as he faced new charges including possession of a controlled substance, possession of drug paraphernalia, and making false statements to a public officer. McFadden was arrested on Saturday at a residence in the 300 block of Irene. He had reportedly been at large for several months and was sought on numerous warrants for failing to appear in court. When the Nye County Sheriff's Office confirmed McFadden's whereabouts, the 34-year-old suspect and his reported girlfriend, 29-year-old Jessica Vega Garaldi, were seen trying to escape out the back of the residence. During the arrest, McFadden was found in possession of methamphetamine. Once apprehended without further incident, Vega Garardi and the residents of the property, Stacy Coolidge and Ronald Knight, were all arrested for allegedly knowingly harboring McFadden. The suspect's defense attorney discussed elements of McFadden's case. This case today is the least of his worries. He has some cases pending in uh, Justice Court Department A, and he has some uh, cases pending in District Court. Again, I initially negotiated all of his cases, a global resolution of uh, numerous drug allegations. Uh, the state was seeking to habitualize him or ask the judge to find him as an habitual offender. We got the state to agree to drop that. His failure to uh, make his district court date or make his justice court date may give rise, or the state's going to try to use that as a violation of the deal. I don't know if this judge will go along with it, but uh, Mr. McFadden is a uh, I got a lot of work to do. <laughs> I got a lot of work to do for Donnie today and for the rest of the weeks I had. McFadden remains in custody. In addition to two cases in justice court, the suspect also has a case pending in district court. McFadden's next court date regarding these latest charges is February 1st. This is Unette Gentry reporting for News 46. Stay tuned to News 46. We'll have more local news for you right after this break.